Guys, San Francisco is literally dead. So we already have, you know, Chinese tourists coming to San Francisco, just looking around and there's a lot of investors as well. And they were shocked to see this kind of stuff. So I've been watching a lot of international bloggers and also international people who are just going to San Francisco to film things. They all say the same thing. Like the stores are like super duper empty. Now, this is literally the best place in San Francisco. This is actually like that Fremont condo. And this condo is like the one that's tilting all the time. And this is kind of like where all your big banks are. There's BlackRock and look at the retail stores. It's completely empty except for that Chipotle. And if you really look around, like for example, this building, 350 California Street, this building was literally sold for 75% off. It was such a bad building. And I mean, people are saying that a lot of these stores are empty and the stores are open. They're empty too. Now, this is like a working day and nobody's at these cafes. I mean, office workers are empty. The Four Seasons is empty. You know, the Chase Banks are empty. It is crazy. Now, if you also look at what a lot of people on Reddit are saying, they're saying the same thing. Like, for example, this individual is saying that they worked in the area for a few years from 2016 and 2023. And it's really crazy to see how things have changed with businesses trickling down. Now, the pandemic really sped things up because that's kind of when companies knew that they could make money without staying in San Francisco. And if you look at this, you know, someone's like, yeah, I interned there in 2016. The cable car street in particular was full of shops. And also remember the Uniqlo there was, was also open. Now, Uniqlo is kind of like this Japanese clothing store. It's kind of similar to HMN, but in my opinion, it's slightly higher quality. And the prices are pretty decent with pretty great styles. Now, when the Uniqlo closes, you know that place is probably pretty bad, okay? So Walgreens was always getting shoplifted. And to this point, I mean, toothpaste and, you know, toothbrushes are now being locked behind windows. And guys, okay, clothing stores are moving out. Everyone's gone. Nordstrom is leaving. Okay, Whole Foods is leaving. Saks is leaving. Anthropology and Office Depot is leaving too. Okay, this is insane. Now, we're not talking about small mom and pop business stores leaving. We're talking about the big anchor stores. Like these are stores that you see in every single city in America. Go to any decently city and you will see a clothing store, a luxury grocery store, a luxury clothing store, and maybe like some for like the utensils and pencils and stuff like that. I mean, even Williams Sonoma, like that place where they sell expensive plates and forks. Yeah, those guys are leaving too. Now, it's getting more empty than ever before and people are honestly getting pretty scared. And one of the biggest complaints is abandoned offices, abandoned malls, and extremely high crime. Now, if you just look around what everyone is saying, and if you check out some of these videos, it really does show you how empty things are. I mean, this is just taken like a few days ago. You do see four lease. There's a Walgreens, okay? And look at this whole entire strip is just completely empty. Whereas pre-pandemic, this is by far one of the most popular destinations for business owners. And look at this, four lease right there. Corner store right there, it's four leased. There's a Starbucks. There's another corner store that's completely empty. Guys, the corner stores are the most popular ones because those are the ones that get the most attention and traffic. This building right here, the retail space is completely empty. And I guarantee you the apartments and office towers and all the other guys are empty as well. San Francisco has also gotten a massive decrease in population with some even say 100,000 people have left in the past three and a half years from the peak to now. We're also seeing bankers leaving. We're also seeing a lot of you know tech companies leaving because of the high crime. Guys, it's not because San Francisco is like a bad city or anything. It's not because the location is bad or the weather is bad. It's one thing. The high amounts of crime, the high amounts of homelessness, and no matter how much money people pay in taxes, the city never really changes. And this is what exactly a lot of people coming to the U.S. are saying. They are shocked to find America's tech capital being completely empty. Like, look at this. A lot of these ground retail spaces are completely empty. This woman is also saying that one third of the commercial real estate and retail stores in downtown San Francisco are empty despite it being the hottest place. 
it's kind of embarrassing, honestly. When you see a lot of foreign tourists come into San Francisco and all they see is just homelessness, empty stores, and a dying city. It's not great at all. It's not a great impression. And if you go to like other cities like Tokyo, Seoul, Shanghai, Hong Kong, Singapore, Sydney, okay, even Malaysia, if you go to like you know KL, a lot of their prime retail stores are all full to the brink. Their commercial real estate and retail market isn't that bad. I mean, San Francisco is so bad. I'm, I'm comparing this to straight up to Detroit. I mean, we're not talking, this is not a bad part of town. This is actually a really good part of town. This is kind of like when all of the luxury stores are here. I mean, I guarantee you in a couple months, this UGG store is probably going to close. And the only stores that are barely clinging on to life are going to be your CVS and Walgreens. And the only way to make any money is to literally lock up everyday utensils. It is so bad in San Francisco. I mean, these retail stores, you could even negotiate for 40% off the rent and the landlords would probably say yes. And what's really crazy is a lot of these landlords, they're really, really hoping that things will change. But every single one of these buildings behind it is a massive investor or several investors. And these investors are not happy. And we're already seeing on LoopNet a lot of commercial retail space being sold in San Francisco. And a lot of this retail space, nobody's buying, guys. We're seeing a massive hotel chain, park hotels and resorts, defaulting on a $725 million loan. We are also seeing another one defaulting on a $558 million loan and another one $62 million loan, all in the hotel, office, and mall space. Westfield Mall in downtown, this is kind of like where your Bloomingdale is, your Macy's, your Dillard's. This is in Union Square. And this is actually kind of close to the Tenderloin District, but overall, I guess it's okay. And these guys are leaving too, okay? So what most businessmen are saying is one, crime is so rampant that they can't make any money, okay? If, if a store is constantly getting shoplifted and robbed every few days, I guarantee you they are, they're not even breaking even. I mean, with tourism at an all-time low and people moving out, I mean, a lot of these shop owners, I feel bad for them. They're probably breaking even, or some of them might not even be making any money. And then they start losing money from the robberies, the crime. You also have, you know, buildings being vandalized and then store owners got to fix it themselves. And it's crazy. Okay. It, like I have never seen a city like this. San Francisco is a fantastic place, guys. This is my number one favorite city in the U.S. before all this crap. I feel like if they really fixed up the Tenderloin District, if they fixed up the homelessness, and if San Francisco could say that we're actually one of the safest cities in North America, I mean, I'll move here in a heartbeat. I mean, the weather is great all year. The people are pretty nice. There's a lot of culture here, but a lot of it's being ruined. I feel like most companies are saying the same thing, bad street conditions and also bad politics as well. And that's what's happening. And yeah, I mean, we're going to be seeing more of these videos. People going to San Francisco completely shocked. They're vlogging about it. And this woman is actually literally in downtown. Look at how empty Four Seasons is. Okay, look at how empty some of these storefronts is. I mean, look at downtown. Walk around downtown and you don't see a single soul. And this is supposed to be America's tech capital, but it is completely empty. Guys, where I'm seeing vlogs of people going to San Francisco on like a Wednesday evening or a Wednesday afternoon, and it's completely empty. It is insane. I've never seen this much emptiness. And this is kind of like, uh, you know, people going to like Fisherman's Wharf as well. It's pretty empty as well. You know, tourism is completely dead. Not a great sign for San Francisco. And before guys leave, make sure to check out the private Discord server, guys. Patreon link below for some amazing trades. It's $10 a month, and one of our traders last week made a bunch of money. Out of 10 trades, he made nine winning trades, and everything was live up here. So definitely trade with us, guys. Make some money with us. Get notified on some great trades, and it's $10 a month. You're not going to beat a deal better than this. And we have several traders on board as well. So check us out. Patreon link below. It will get you to join join and connect patreon discord and you're in it's super simple if you have any questions feel free to dm me on discord see you later